This is Camo Pigeon 342 and today I'm going to show you how to get GPS phone or the GBA emulator onto your iPhone. That little icon. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into installer. You're going to have to add a source if you don't already have it. It's the same source as in my other video for SNES. You're going to need this source right here, ZodTTD.com. So the source is ZODTTD dot com slash repo slash it'll be in the description. So you're gonna go to that, you're gonna go edit, add ZODTTD dot com slash repo slash. And you're gonna need to install GPS phone. So you go in there, install GPS phone, blah 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 blah. Now what you're gonna need so you're going to need iShare and you're going to need Mobile Finder. Both of these are going to be there after you install Community Sources. Um, if you haven't installed Community Sources, you need to go do that. You also need to have BSD Subsystem installed. That's going to make it so it actually downloads all this stuff. Um, after you do that, you're going to need to go into iShare which is also SenseBase, you're going to need to register if you haven't already done that. So you need a username, your name, email, and a password. It's not going to send you any junk mail, it's just to confirm your account. Once you've done that, you go to your computer. And you're going to need to get the, GB, the GBA BIOS. So there's going to be a link in the video description on where to get that at. Um, so what you're going to do here is it's going to put you into this page. You need to click free. Don't mess with any of this stuff. Now this image right here, you need to type those letters in. Um, on this one, I believe it's C19S. I've already got it downloaded on my computer, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I downloaded it to my desktop. It's right here. So what I need to do now is I need to go to sensepace.com. It's the same account you just created on iShare. Once you log in, go to upload. Then you're going to browse. Since it's on my desktop, it's right here. I'm going to upload it through that. I'm going to put GBA BIOS. It's going to upload. Now it's done uploading. So I'm going to go. The way to download this is using the last six characters of this link. So it's www.sensepace.com slash file slash, and there's going to be six characters after that. So you go back into your phone. You scroll over here to iShare. And I'm going to log in. Alright, now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go to download. And it says www.sensepace.com slash file slash. And at the end of that slash, you're going to write these six characters at the end of the link. In this case it is J eight W three N I. So I'm gonna press next. Now you need to go to dot 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 and go back. So if you have one point one point two or earlier, you're going to need to download download this into root media ROMs and then um, GBA but I don't have that I have 1.3 right now so if you have 1.1.3 or later you need to download it 
into mobile media ROMs GBA and download it right into there. If it doesn't let you download into there, download it into just this main page right here and then copy and paste it into there. Um, that's what I usually have to do. I have no idea why it does that. Uh, just do it. So I'm going to press select. Now it's going to download. So now that it's downloaded, I'm going to press the home button. I'm going to go to mobile finder. I'm going to press this Insenia at the top right. Go to media. And there it is. This is the GBA BIOS. So what I do is I'm going to go file, copy. I'm going to go into ROMs, GBA, and I'm going to press paste. So now you have the GBA BIOS, which is going to allow GBA to run. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need ROMs, because you don't have any games on it right now. So you're going to go back to your computer. You're going to go to sendspace.com again. Go to upload. And I'm you're going to have to download ROMs. Uh, again, the old computer is a nice little place to get those from. So I already have some downloaded. I'm going to go into where I have them downloaded. And I'm going to upload let's upload Mario Kart. All right. Let's get that. All right, so now it's uploading Mario Kart. So once it uploads, I'm going to do the same thing again. Alright, so now it's done uh, It's done uploading. So I'm going to go to my center. The last six... Uh, characters of that link or your ticket to downloading it so you go into your iShare I have to log in again alright so once you're logged in you go to download you can click the end of that link and you're gonna use the last six characters so in this case it's RWYQUF uh, I'm not going to download it because it's 4 megabytes and it's going to take forever because I'm on the edge network right now. So I'm not going to do that. But anyways, you'd press, you would press next, but it's not going to let me. And you download it into the same spot that you downloaded the GBA BIOS into. So once you download it, you're going to press the incentive, you go to media, and that's going to be at the bottom right here. And then, uh, you're gonna you're gonna download you're gonna copy paste it, go into the ROMs, go into GBA, and paste. And it's gonna be right there. And then it's gonna work. So you're gonna go back, you're gonna press on the GBA emulator, game should be right there. Should load up like this. I haven't had this one crash on me too much. It's been better than uh the Super Nintendo one, Super Nintendo one crashes on me all the time. I have no idea why. So yeah, seems to work. All right. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will get back to you. I promise you that.